Yo, what's going on, everybody? My name is Mr. Brennan, and welcome back to another episode of Out of Minecraft here on the HTM server. Radar technician. Oh, builder. Okay, I was like, wait a second. Are we starting out this video getting hacked already? I don't recognize this name. Uh, I feel a little bit bad that I don't recognize the name, to be fair, though, but I assume... Um, I'm gonna say hi. I'm gonna assume probably a member uh, of the build team that we... Uh, contracted for the series I feel kind of bad that I do not know his name I, I think I've heard of him before anyways welcome back to another episode of Adam Minecraft if you didn't uh, watch the last episode with Kara um it nothing got done but it was one of the most banterful experiences I've had on how to Minecraft it was like chocobo level banter and it was so freaking enjoyable and I really do hope you guys that watched that uh really did enjoy it and I know a lot of youtubers say that like oh I hope you guys enjoy this episode but Oh my god, it was... I, I loved it so much. Uh, do you mind if I make it daytime? Sure. Fine by me. Uh, we're getting a little bit of hacking here. Beautiful. Uh, but welcome to the episode. This is not live streamed right now because uh, my sleep schedule is terrible. The live streaming hours are earlier than they've ever been. 11 o'clock a.m. my time, which, you know, compared to Lachlan... It was like 4 a.m. his time, uh, usually. It's nothing. But for me and my illness, uh, you guys know I'm waking up feeling like crap and then I'm usually fine throughout the day so I haven't had a lot of time to stream unfortunately but I did get two videos out of HTM uh today and uh ARC should have started today too as long as uh I'm not spoiling something huge and it didn't actually start but it should have uh we also have uh handsome Ray over here I love how the title stays on the animal it's so freaking cute uh but anyways today if you can't tell by my inventory uh I did go uh not last episode with Kara, but before that, right before that, uh, I told you guys that I was going to go ahead and chop down some trees. I made six iron axes worth. And uh, this, you know, breaking a couple of leaves. And of course, you know, I didn't leave any floating trees. So any tree I had to stack up a little bit and then use the axe to break down the wood. Um, this is a, about how much you can get roughly. Maybe a stack or two extra with uh, six iron axes. And spruce wood is going to be our main building material. I feel like I want to build the actual uh, structure out of wood itself, which can always be a very risky thing. Um, that's why I got so much is because I know that spruce is very hard to obtain. I think this is spruce. That looks like spruce to me. But these trees are, uh, they're, why would you chop those down? They're beautiful, they're gorgeous, and good luck even chopping them down, and they just take way too much time. So we're not really going to be able to travel to a spruce forest. As if I actually missed that shot. My lord, I need to get... I need to brush up on my uh, bow skills a little bit. Reminder of the guy who won the 1.9 PvP competition. You know, in the UHC. I'm not I'm not hearing from the same guy right now. But uh, we are going to get started building our home today. Because I feel like as well, uh, once you have a house, and I think we're one of the only people in the series who doesn't have a house right now. Episode 7, I think I was about the same time H4M had a house. So, you know, it kind of sets a little bit of a pattern. Uh, once you have a home, you you get started on things. It's a lot easier to progress through the series. Um, but I'm trying to figure out... I was thinking about the house being right here, and I think that's probably going to be the game plan. Uh, I really like this view, and I love being able to, like, uh, just say that I'm on... Because, I don't know, like, this is a really cool, like, little flatland area right here. And you can make this relatively big, and uh, you have a nice view out from where you are. Kara gave me a really good idea as well. Um, when we were talking about, you know, like ski lifts coming down from the top of here and it will be awesome. Uh, I think she's planning on building somewhere in the plains, I would imagine, by radar. Um, but this is where I think we're going to start building on our home. To be honest, uh, I haven't actually got a diagram of what I want to build for the house yet. In H4M, I had a, uh, <laughs> a full, uh, well, not like a full thing, but I did have a, uh, single player world where I kind of outlined what I thought it would look like. So I'm going to go ahead and log off of this server. I'm going to do a little bit of building on single player since um, the, the biggest reason I don't just want to start building on here is because if I destroy the snow, then I can't really get it back. So all these builds that we're going to have to do around here, uh, I think I can place it down manually, but it would be too tedious. So all the builds we have to do around here are going to be a little bit more, uh, you know, they, they, have to they have to be done correctly. But I'm excited, man. So we're going to get building up on here. We're going to live in the primary ski lodge itself that's what i think is going to be the game plan we're going to have a main ski lodge the the hotel resort sort of not the actual hotel because there are no rooms in this um yeah let's get you guys in here uh, you know the the mindset of what i'm feeling this is going to be the area that you go into it's the big lounge you got the bar you have the restaurant here you got the counter the front desk you have the concession stands whatever it is 
and this is where you go to rent out your place and there you know it's not multi it could be multi-level a little bit you know executive offices up at the top or a hangout spot um you know some sort of fancy restaurant up at the top so this will be like the uh you know the multi-level area nothing like a hotel because it won't be hotel rooms there will be just like a bunch of little ski lodges and a few igloos uh all throughout this area and there will be little paths that you'll be able to create um around here and then we'll have some ski lodges we'll probably have um some sort of i don't know just some way to get up here easily and then ski lodges to, uh or ski lifts rather to bring you down uh cables flying all throughout here and then i might turn like i don't remember exactly what it looks like behind there but i might make like a uh a little hill like a ski hill you know put some flags down and stuff but this is gonna be our main place I'm going to dip, and I'll catch you guys back in a little bit. I don't know what I'm going to do, but we'll figure it out. So I'm going to get you guys into my head here. This is sort of what I'm looking at, and I like... I didn't realize that they had so many balconies on these things, but I totally get it. Like, I really... Like, this... I don't know what this is. I mean, I get it. I sort of do. Like, I don't know... I don't know about this, you know what I mean? But, like... Eh, okay, that's, that's not at all what I'm looking at. This is kind of what I'm getting at right here. You know, like these sort of, <clears throat> I don't know if that big of a deal. I mean, that's luxury accommodation. Like that's, that's way too much, but like, what's a good this, but less like if you were to take this and shrink it down. So how would you do this then? You'd have to, so in Minecraft itself, you'd have to make the extension. Um, you got to build a, you got to build a light. You got to build a, a balcony throughout the entire surrounding of it that people can just walk up to. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, this is nice. A little bit too complex, and we're not really uh, going for that so much. Uh, I, I want it to be simple. You know what I mean? Like this. Ooh. Okay. Actually, like this is a bit much as well, too. Like, I'm. it's just my cup. I'm looking for something a little bit. I like this, but this is weird. It's not actually. You, couldn't, you can't build diagonally uh, in Minecraft. Like, what other ideas... Uh, no, not so much. I'm talking like maybe a may that looks, this looks like a school. That looks like a school building. I mean, I might be wrong. This looks good. That's a, that looks like a house. Just like a straight house. Like these are, look at these, these are luxury homes. I mean, come on. That's not what we're, uh, going for. Okay. What was, I mean, I could probably scroll down a little bit further right here. I, I mean, this isn't, this is sort of sort of what i'm getting at like this a little bit more it's a tiny ass photo 300 by 196 pixels people gotta upgrade their cameras or like upgrade their resolutions or something this is nice i like this and then uh, this is too much maybe uh, okay it's blurry so i can't really tell um that's wow okay <laughs> a life you'd have to live right there was it europe's 11 best luxury ski chalets okay Totally understand where I'm, I'm I'm going too far away from the pen, what I'm trying to look at right here. I think this is probably going to be what I base it off of. This photo and this photo and maybe like a little bit of this. I think windows, like for this building right here, you can see it's a lot of glass windows. And I would not be against, uh, you know, like extending out the windows. So it's like a giant six wide window because... For some reason, I don't know why, I mean, in real life, I love natural light. It makes me feel alive. It makes me feel like I'm awake because I don't go out that much, so I crave the sunlight when I'm inside. Um, and I think I translate over to Minecraft. You guys remember back from uh, Season 4, I was talking a lot about uh, a lot about that, but that's kind of the idea that I'm going for. So I'm over on a uh, Singapore war right now. I have a 30 by 20 area because that's where it'll relatively fit. We probably can make a couple more blocks um extra to accommodate for uh because i didn't know we'd have to build like a uh uh a balcony out but it makes sense it does so i'll probably make the actual uh building itself like if we were to take like light blue wool uh the actual building would probably be like maybe this big here like going like how is that too small building it in like three wide right there like that's the actual building is this a bit too small i think this might be a little too tiny yeah we'll probably extend it out like uh right here and then the balcony itself could be two blocks extra and then maybe one to the edge maybe three uh, we'll work with it I'll, I'll catch you guys back in a few all right so this is just a prototype i feel kind of bad because i i couldn't find a snow biome so it's not going to look like as good as it would obviously in snow so picture it kind of up on that hill there where do you really see it it's it's meant to be like a uh 
like a ski lot. I don't know the is a ski lodge the term for like the big building everybody goes into, right? Yeah. Sort of. Okay. Um, bam. Ooh, you built that? Yes, I did. Wow. Uh, it was a reference off a photo, a a real life photo. Oh, so it's well, not like funny. a it's not a proper design, but it's still kind of like my rendition of it. Um. I, I could show you the photo, or I could not, um, but this is kind of like the idea I had for it. Windows being a little bit more transparent on the second floor. Uh, I didn't actually create a way for you to be able to walk up to the balcony. I need to do that. Um, just realized that I forgot that that very important part, but uh, it, when people will be able to get up here, uh, this is what's like actually walking around. Um, created chimneys, so I think they... Uh, it, I don't know a single ski lodge that wouldn't have a chimney, so I felt like that was kind of an important aspect. And then um, these are the main doors uh, right here. And then this is the inside. Pretty basic. Um, I might create some more uh, windows. You make a way to get to the balcony. Huh? You did make a way to get to the balcony. Well, I guess I could literally just put like a, an no, entrance. Just literally just get rid of the glass. Yeah, but you need to be able to close it. So I'll, I'll, I'll like put doors here. But um, yeah, so, so it's kind of is. But uh, I didn't decorate the interior because that's what, what would be the point in doing that. I just wanted to kind of get the idea of um the balcony I what really was this like speaking it. what would this be called like an interior bal no not, not an interior balcony but like a i don't know second floor loft. a loft well yeah i guess so yeah we have one what are you talking about um so yeah that's that's kind of the idea uh forgot to put you know bearings uh support beams here to that's actually funny. close that up but you know we can uh, i'll probably do that later and make it look a little better but oh i really like it you like it Thank you. Play around the other way? Uh, the, this way, um... That'll be half a mountain. Yeah, th like, this is behind the mountain, mostly. I could not put glass here, but I kind of thought that, um... It looked cooler no, without glass? I like the idea of glass? It. No. Okay, okay. Um, criticisms. What do you not like I about think it? I wish I could show it to you in the snow. I'll, I'll show it to you soon, but this is real time, by the way. I'm not cutting. We got to wait for Kara to give her. Wait, really? Oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah. I like it. I don't want to change anything about it since the other half of there's no windows will be in the mountain, basically. I mm -hmm. think it's a perfect build. Well, it won't be in the mountain. It'll be perfectly visible. Um, um, go so inside. Okay. And there's these doors right here, which... Uh, you have to make a really big center chandelier. Ooh, yes, 100%. Okay, I'd be down it. for that. That's literally it. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Damn, did I just get a free pass from you? Yeah. That you like it? Yeah. You have no criticisms on no, it. not really. I mean, the roof maybe, but... Not, a fan, not too big a fan of the roof? I mean, it's kind of boring, but you're going to decorate it, and I'll come back when you decorate it. There's, uh, there's designs of, like, you know how they have, like, windows or whatever, where it, like, it extends out this way? And there's like a kind of like a floor here oh, and then yeah. another like I might do that. That's another thing that I saw. But for right now, I wanted to just kind of keep it basic two levels because I didn't want to like design a giant mansion right off the bat. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm glad you like it. That's actually really, I really do like it. It's really cool. So I'm pretty much going to try and uh, hopefully I have enough wood to be able to do this. I definitely don't have the dark oak wood that I did for the flooring. Do you like the, the dark oak wood contrast on the floor? Because it's not spruce, it's dark yes, oak wood. I do. You do? I do. Okay, so that's going to be a bit tedious because I don't know... I don't think anybody has dark oak wood at the moment, so I won't be able to fill a floor in yet. But, um... Hey, I'm glad you like it. So that's the, uh, the approval from the girlfriend. I guess what I'm going to go and do now is, uh, take several screenshots and we'll see if we can go ahead and get this transferred over uh, to the HTM world. And hopefully, I, I should have enough room. I, this is, I think, 31 by 22 instead, or 32 by 22 even, maybe, uh, instead of 30 by 20. So it's a little bit extra room, but I think we should be good. So we'll go ahead and get that moved on over, and I'll update you guys as we go. All right, so the one thing that we don't have just given to us is materials. I think it's pretty obvious. Uh, so the biggest thing we're going to have to do right now is go back over to spawn. Hate doing this because we don't have slash home yet. I need to get slash home like i feel what's the bow top situation currently oh my god you know what i can see exactly dondo ben mini deer and sigils 
and then Biffle right there, all 100k. You know what? I knew that the nice posture squad coming in here, they were just going to destroy. I know them. I absolutely know them. And that'll be interesting to see how they do. But uh, something we're going to need to do right away right now, I think uh, Carol's on the server for a moment there, is uh, let's buy some cocoa beans. 32 should probably be enough. I don't think we need any more than that. Uh, and then I don't know... Are we able to buy glass? If we can buy glass, happiest man alive. If we can't... Please tell me we can't. Please tell me we can buy glass. Please give me... my sand at least all right we can buy sand that's good enough i guess you know what i'm i'm happy about that i should have stored oh i should have stored my wood before i ran all this way over here oh i'm an idiot for some reason i thought that i i don't know why i didn't i felt like i wouldn't need okay so i we can buy sand which is nice kara's on right now we can buy sand which is good so i'm gonna go ahead and get this wood put away because we need brown glass for it uh and cocoa beans are how you make brown glass which is beautiful so we'll buy some sand. We'll get that smelted. I believe I have a great amount of coal. Uh, at least what should be enough. Because there's not too many windows in this. Um, so this should be perfectly fine. I don't want to use any of the wood that I have for uh, smelting purposes. So I guess we'll just do that. So one thing I was thinking that uh, I, I dropped in the admin chat. And I'm not sure if they're going to wind up doing it. Because uh, I don't know how big of a deal it might be. But something I'm proposing and I feel like I want to go through with is if you guys take a look at the money right now, the server has been around for seven days. It's been a week, right? I've hardly been on. I maybe, well, not hardly. I, I've been on a little bit, but I've done maybe a couple quests and that's really it. I haven't done much selling. I've not gotten diamond anything. Like I've gotten a couple diamonds from a mine shaft and I've got $82,000. I had a little bit more earlier. I had it like 83. And uh, about top right now, uh, Florian is the count, but Dondo is sitting in nearly 200k. Ben at 162, Mini Deer 141, Sigils 136. You get it. The majority, almost 10 people on the server, well, I should say almost eight, are above $100,000. With the 82,000, I'm not even on Baltop right now. And I feel like it would be really cool if we took the money on the server, we didn't change the values of anything, because I feel like it's fine for right now, and we cut it in 10. We cut it into a 10th right so picture instead of it being dondo having a hundred and ninety four thousand dollars he's still sitting at number one but he's got nineteen thousand four hundred and twelve dollars and then forty cents ben has sixteen thousand two hundred and seventy and mini deer has fourteen thousand one hundred and eighty five and then for me my balance would be eight thousand two hundred eighty two hundred dollars i feel like that would be a lot cooler because I never like the idea of a server that has, like, people getting in the millions up by, like, episode 10. Or, like, five hours into the server, you're at, like, $5 million. And then, you know, the currency is like, oh, what's really valuable? Oh, yeah, well, you can get this shark thing for uh, 200 million. You know, it's like, what's really the point? I feel like if we cut the server in 10, you know, if someone says, I'm going to drop $100,000 at the casino, it'd be like... Oh my god, are you kidding me? Like, that's insane. Because right now, if Dondo was to drop 100k, it's like, that's a really good amount of money. But that's still only half of your balance, and the majority of us have that amount. Whereas, you know, if they were to drop 100, if things were cut in the 10th, it's like, oh my god. Did you just pull together, like, all of your nice posture squad balance after the first week and drop it on a single bet? You're insane. I can't pay that. I feel like that'd be really cool. So, um, just furnace smelting glass things uh, conversations right now and uh classy glassy nice classy glassy assy very very nice advance right there we got an extra eight glass we're doing out just pretty nice uh rip the symmetry and the uh the even eight stacks that we could have had so screw that advancement i guess but uh let's go ahead and uh make these into some brown glass because that's the goal uh game plan what we're doing right now brown stained glass Full stack of that, and we'll do the same over here. Another full stack, and we need but one more. Yeah, I just take one. Ugh, we got an extra two. All right, fine. You know what? Beggars can't be choosers. Uh, so I think that might be implemented long as we are able to do that. Because I know to do that, you got to edit all of the quests. You got to edit the rewards of the dungeons. You got to edit the buy and sell values of all the items. Um, I feel like it would be a little complicated, but I really think it would help 
in uh because you guys know me i care about uh player balance is one of the biggest things about me on the series because i work with casinos a lot so i know like when someone hits like for example in h4m with jen and i when we were fighting to see who could be the first millionaire that was a big deal right like, that was a huge deal at the rate we're going right now if people really like started to care about the war zone we could probably have our first millionaire in a week and i'm i don't really i don't know if i don't like that i do not like that at all and i feel like it needs to be changed and uh, i'm hoping vic is on the same page as well because it's it's kind of him and i you know as long as we both agree on stuff it'll go through sometimes we have things where it's like this is happening no matter what um i feel like i might push it to be like i don't really care i'm gonna do it anyway because like i see the future and I, I i can see the problems arising um but we'll figure it out as time goes but uh yeah i guess let's go ahead and get started with the build um we're gonna get it ready i have i'm not gonna do like a time lapse or anything right now because uh i'm just not and uh let me go ahead and get a crafting tail move out over here probably gonna be a great idea to uh take some iron really quickly do i have a little bit more wood that would not be okay yeah i do let's take some iron and i already had some and uh, let's make an axe i think uh, an iron axe is going to be probably our greatest tool in this right now so let's go ahead and move that over there there we go uh ironing it so we can go ahead and put back uh other things that we're going to need oh i should have got clay oh no what wait i don't think you can buy clay no i don't think you can buy clay or brick you might be able to buy brick but i need to go get clay oh i need to go get clay first okay never mind because i need to do one more thing i need to go get some clay before we start building uh because we need to get that for the brick to make the furnace or the furnace the uh fireplace the chimney the chimney being the right term uh let's go and make ourselves one shovel and hopefully that will do it actually you know what two shovels will be nice just to make sure uh let me go ahead and grab that run from there there we go and i think there was a good amount over at the pirate warp and while we're here over in spawn we can go ahead and check and see if we can buy it. i really hope we can i don't think it's going to be at the odds and ends i think it'll be at the builder uh odds and ends no okay yeah definitely not unless i missed it there and i hate my life probably uh let me go ahead and see all right builder what do you got for me please tell me red sand gravel clay hey wait can you just smelt this up into uh are you able to just smelt this up into uh a stone brick or do you have to do i have to single-handedly mine the clay now i think i have to mine the clay i don't think i can just smelt it either way we're good let me i'll see you guys in a second look at this damn guy look at that freak there's steve urkel up in here love it i absolutely love it all right so it took some time uh we got ray over here uh i realized that if you cook just full clay it gives you not hardened clay but terracotta uh, i don't know why i thought it would just give you a brick that doesn't make any sense in the world um but you do have to you know obviously uh divide up the clay and then you get bricks and then you make bricks just by putting them in a two by two so here's how this is gonna go because i have been a royal shithead and i haven't streamed to be in the past like three days because i've felt uh, terrible when I wake up, but I haven't done anything good in my sleep schedule, and that's my fault. Nobody else's. Um, a lot of stuff going on. I'm very excited to let you guys know about it very, very soon. Uh, but I'm going to save the building for the stream, so you guys are going to see a little stream transition here, as uh, long as everything goes well, because I'm going to be combining these two videos up, recording the stream, and then uh, pasting it together in this one right here. So, uh, yeah, if you guys have already watched the stream, uh, you might already know what it looks like. I mean, on here you guys have already seen it anyway so you've actually seen it uh later in the stream regardless but i'm gonna go and dip out and uh we will see how this goes uh live hopefully i wake up feeling good tomorrow morning and i'm able to stream because honestly i i feel like i'm going somewhat backwards in my illness at least the past day which is something to always got to look out for when you have the flu and i'm probably going to go to the doctors uh later tomorrow to make sure i'm good make sure i don't got anything you know no infections of the chest i might We'll see, because I've been congested to have a cough for a little bit longer than I think I should. So, uh, gonna go to the doctors and you know take care of myself. But we got all the materials that we need. We got everything we need to build it, and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right. Well, not surprisingly, I did not wake up feeling well enough to stream at all. But it's not gonna stop us because I gotta progress regardless. So we're gonna go ahead and take everything that we got. I think uh, I was not 
These chunks weren't loaded in, so these did not smelt up while I was gone, but they are pretty much good to go right now. So we'll go ahead and get the remainder uh, of this. We have virtually two stacks of bricks, which should be well enough for the chimney. I don't think it would have been more than that. I think I did the math in my head and it seemed about accurate. Um, but I think we got everything that we need. We just need glass and spruce wood, and then uh, we could probably make the majority of things up there, like the fences and stuff. So I'm just going to get to building. I mean, you guys have already seen what it looks like. I do have a second Minecraft up on my uh, my second or my first monitor right now. Uh, actually, I mean, my monitors are one, two, and then three. I've got a tiny little one down here. Uh, but my second monitor technically, because, you know, reading it like a book left to right, is my gaming monitor and my main one, even though my left one is where I've got my taskbar and my desktop and everything else is not a game. So I guess my gaming monitor is my second. Yeah, I guess my gaming monitor is my second monitor. Um, so let's think about it this way here then. The floor probably, I guess it's a weird leveling because this seems like the, le the floor level right here at 102, but then there's this one like layer right here. And this seems like the floor because you have like, it like levels out right here, but this just drops low down. It's like this weird, like, I don't know. This does not seem right. So I'm trying to think, like, I feel like this should be the floor of where it would be. But I also want it really tall up. So I think, like, I don't know. I might make this the floor. But then if I do that, like, this isn't layered. Hmm. Yeah, I think. Hmm. I f I'm trying to get. Yeah, why is this tripping me up so much? Either this is the base here, or this is the base. And this is where the actual, like, floor would be. What would look better? So I'm trying to think. It's either right here, or down one. And how would that look as, like, the bottom of... I think that might look good. Make it a little... Make it tall, you know what I mean? Make it seem like a big deal. Yeah, make it seem like a big deal, you know what I mean? So let's, uh... Oh my god. And also, uh, the idea of creepers... Kind of terrify the ever living shit. I mean, Brawl's currently on the server right now. I might ask him to see if he can sleep in a bed for me. So I don't really know if I want to be up here during the nighttime. Might just have to deal with it. But all right, I guess we'll get started then. So the actual building itself, let me see. Uh, with the balcony and everything is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32 blocks. So it's 32 blocks out. And I was thinking that this right here would be the furthest that it goes. And I feel like that kind of makes sense. Yeah, this would be the furthest out right here. So 32 blocks out. And then we'd probably want it to be like right here would be the farthest point. So... I think, so that's where I've got it currently, right? So if we were to do it right there, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, please no creepers, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. So it would end up right here as the uh, the ending part. So this would be 32. So that is, that's as far, that's as wide as it would be. How does that look? Do I like that? Do I like how that is? How it's like kind of... I, I wish I could get like a better view. Like I wish I could fly right now. I feel like that's a really good part. Yeah, it doesn't extend too far out into here, which is good because we can make like a pathway up here. Make it look really nice. But this right here... Yeah, that's good. That's good. And then uh, depth of uh, measurement right now. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So that's 19 blocks out in total. Um, this is the bridge and everything. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So it'd be right here. So this would be the actual base of it. That's really good. I like that. That's actually a really good, um, a really good fill-in for the whole thing. So the entire measurements of the build is uh right here this is where the entire house would be okay cool so now you guys kind of get an idea of everything uh on there and then i guess are we doing this for the floor here or are we doing one lower because we do this for the floor like what it, this block uh because we're going to remove oh my god that gets destroyed fast you can rebuild this right 
Oh, dear. Wow, that was a lot faster than I thought it would be. How do you, uh... How do you layer things? Is it... Do you have to do it like... Wasn't that a thing at one point? I guess we can make literal blocks right here to kind of... And then can you layer it on top of... How do you layer... I need to remember how to do that. Because I need to repair this up. I've already damaged it. But if we were to make the floor right here... This is on 103. And then going all the way over to here. This is block 101. So it'd be two blocks lower. Hmm. Two blocks lower. Yeah, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. Yeah, so this is the only thing that I was kind of concerned about was if we do it at this level right here, you can see it's a little bit too high up this way, but it's kind of just like this little curve right here. It's only the problem. So if we really wanted to, because this would technically be the floor, um, we could just make stair like stairs up to this, like slabs or something, just right along here, because uh, the underneath of this here would just continue to be more spruce wood if we wanted to do it that way and then we'd probably i mean we would need to connect up the snow so this would be destroyed here now this would all be destroyed anyway so i don't feel bad getting rid of the snow um because it needs to be a plank down underneath anyway so if we were to go ahead and do that and that right there uh, i doesn't need to be perfect the snow doesn't show it, it's whatever that might bother some people it doesn't bother me um not going for perfection here we can always fix it up later if we need to <coughs> and then we'll do um we were to do that, we'll get rid of one, two, three, four, and then this fifth one right here. And then this would all... Because I don't want this to look bad. That's the only problem, right? So we got um, this along right here. And then this would be the actual floor. I don't think this looks that bad. No, I don't think this looks that bad at all. You know, it, it's a snowy area. You're going to have... It's going to look imbalanced. You know what I mean? Like, it's not going to be perfect. So yeah, I get that. Um... Okay, that's good so far. And then we'll continue putting this down um, over this way since the front section uh, or the front little balcony. I should say porch, not balcony. Balcony is for, multiple, uh, is for uh, higher up. But uh, the front porch is three blocks. So we'll go ahead and get this done up here. Um, and then this would be the front little walkway. And then the actual building will be right here. Okay, cool. I'll catch you guys back in a bit. What's up, buddy? You like the build? Hope you do. Damn, you really like the build, eh? Got enderman approval. It's nice. He likes the build. What's up, buddy? I wish you could name tag an enderman and actually have them stay by you. Probably could, actually. No, nah, yeah, you probably could. You probably name tag enderman. Maybe. Just gotta make sure you keep them in a dark spot and they don't teleport. At least I think it's how it works. I think so. Um, also, as we're going along with this... Um, I am remembering that the flooring is a different wood, so it's not spruce. But I'm just going to say it again. I hope to God I do not run out of wood. Like, for the love of God. I mean, I cut down so many trees with this. And if it turns out that it still is not enough, I <laughs> do not know what I will do. In all honesty, I think I will be very distraught if I have to stop any of this portion of the build. Because I want this to be finished. At least finished in regards to what I have on here. Obviously, my build itself is not finished whatsoever. And we need to do interiors and all that. Like, it's it's a big deal. But at the same time, I want no chance of not having enough here. And I know I've got a few more stacks down uh, underneath me. And we've already put down a pretty good amount of the, uh, the porch. We need to put the balconies down uh, and the fencing, which should not take up that much. But, you know, building with oak logs, it's, it's a terrifying thing, man. It... Definitely takes a lot of resources, and it's a big deal for sure. Um, but it's looking pretty good so far. Uh, and I think from here, we need to divvy it up into a lot of slabs. Yes, we do. Okay. All right, back to work. All right, so framework-wise, it looks like we've got all the wood uh, built into place. I'm actually going to save myself a little bit of wood here as well, too. Uh, because I did notice that in the template build that I have here, I did not build the chimney uh, as a whole. And what I mean by that is that the uh, the chimney is going to go right here, but I actually have wood in where the chimney would be, and that's not going to work at all. Uh, and this is just a little bit of wood. Might come in handy, but it, it's more realistic. This is something that I think would bother me if the chimney was not, uh, you know, didn't actually go the way it was supposed to. So the actual chimney itself here, uh, I don't have the, um, what's it called? The balcony 
quite yet, but I'm looking over and just kind of getting an idea for how this is going to look really fast here. So it looks like how it is. Well, I think for right now, what I should be doing instead of actually building the entire chimney is probably just barricading this up right here because this thing goes around in uh, two and I think it sticks in as well as out. Just swap the items in the my inventory right there. It goes in as well as out and above and then when it hits above the roof it goes one two three four five blocks up so it'll be one two three four five and then up here we're gonna have the coal blocks so i actually don't have i don't have a coal blocks we need to get those for sure i need nine no we need six of those we need six coal blocks for that so that's the chimney from there and then on the outside so it's just on the balcony here where it would be different so i guess we gotta get building on a balcony then um, but this is how it looks right now. Wood supply. Again, I do have, I think, like four stacks, which I could go and grab. Probably going to go grab those right now just to make sure I know how much I have. But I, I think we've got enough. We still have a lot of roofing to do. It's mostly just taking all of the wood and turning it into slabs. Might be better as well, too, if we don't turn them into slabs and we keep some of them as just normal uh, planks. But let me see here. How many do we have? We got another five stacks. Okay, that's actually really great. Uh, we did have enough. That's looking so good, man. Okay, it'll look a lot better in a moment here, too. But that's looking really nice. I don't like this. I need to get rid of this somehow. Because um, I'm not a fan of this, like, little splotch here. But this is looking really good. I'm happy with this so far. So we're in the middle of building it. And it feels so cool to be up here, man. Like, this looks so cool. Actually getting, like, a, a higher view of this area. Because that's what I was hoping for was, like, to have a really high-up ski lodge. Uh, I hope once again that I'm, you know, throwing out the right terminology for what this actually is. And if I'm not, you guys have probably already corrected me. Uh, bless you for that if you have. But, like, it, it just feels so cool, man. It feels so freaking cool to be um, just up in the snow right now. And I just did that. Ah, oh, I even thought that was... I even thought... Why did I think... Okay, well, we have a lot of... Uh... Damn, I did that really? Over recording too. I, I didn't mess up on that the last time. And I thought like I'll make sure that it's not going to. No but it sticks on the inside. And then wood. I know this. Why am I doing this to myself? I know these things. Good lord Brandon. Yeah there's the. Alright. Uh, not going to be using those right now. Unfortunately did lose a little bit of wood right there. So if I am short on building this. You know exactly why. Because if that's actually the case. I'm probably. I, I don't know what I'll do to be honest with you. Um, but this is looking really good. Uh, one thing I do want to go over and fix right now. Before we go any further. Is the chimney. Uh, this thing does extend all the way out. Uh, right here. So this actually becomes part of the chimney. I'll go ahead and break down uh, the remainder of that. So it's one, two, three, four right here. And then this continues to go up the entire way. Uh, all the way to the top right here. Ooh. That was a bit of a. Uh, right until the end there. That was a bit of a smooth build for a little bit there. Um, and then this continues down underneath here. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh, it's a little bit of a strange design, but, you know, it, it gets the job done. So one, two, three, four. And then, yeah, I think we should have enough. I think we have enough brick. I'm pretty confident we have enough brick. And then does this uh, just go like that? Oh, yeah, it does. Okay. So this is a little bit weird. I guess I did this as a schematic, but I think I have that supporting it. And then I'm just going to... I'm actually just going to close this up right here because I think that makes the most sense. Yeah, that looks the best, I'd say. And then uh, over in the corner is the last two right along here. And that's the base of the chimney from that way. And then we have to do the inside really quick as well because this part, uh, it is interior design, which uh, I didn't want to do until the very end, but just making sure... That I've got enough building materials for this. If we go right here, it goes uh, one, two, oh, not like that at all. Uh, one, two, three, and then around like this. Because this is the floor right here we're going to wind up taking out. So that'll be done in a moment. Um, we can go ahead and break down the rest of these right around here. And then this should, yeah, we've got enough. All right, so just making sure I had enough for the chimney. Uh, would prefer to not fall and die right now because that would be absolutely horrible. Am I going to fall and die from this? I think I actually. No, that's that's not enough to kill me. I'll just go and drop. Yeah, it yeah, it takes some damage, but not nearly enough. Uh, I was still a little bit afraid there, to be honest. Um, but that's the chimney. And this is how it looks right now. It's just really freaking nice. I'm excited, man. Uh, don't have any torches down in the other schematic either. So we're going to need to see what it looks like with some torches. But I think the last thing to do for right now... Uh, we've got a few things, but we need to uh, get back up here and continue on with the uh, slab gaming. 
because even though I hate that there's not an easier way to get up here right now, uh, we got to finish the roof and that's the bigger thing. And then we also have to make sure that the door entrances as well have a little bit of fencing around them. Cause like this right here is the door. So this actually needs to go, uh, let me see where it was. Okay. So it was right here. So this needs to go three up and then this one needs to go another, well, I guess two up from there, but three up in total. So we go like that and then we do uh, one, two, three and there and then there and there. And then this guy, is that how it is? No, no, wait, sorry. Sorry, I actually messed this up. This needs to be moved up one more. I was like, wait a second. That is way too claustrophobic for me to ever actually implement that in a build. Uh, no, it's like that. And then there we go. That's a little bit better. So then this extends out a little bit further. And then this connects with the uh, uh, fence right there. I was going to say slab for some reason. It's almost like I'm building with those. And that might have been the reason why I was about to say it. So I'll break that down right there. Grab that one and two one and two i think it's how it looked yeah it's how it looked okay perfect so we got a little uh opening or uh covering that looks so cool man i'm excited hey i might freak out a little bit about this build but you know i'm always pumped when i can get a really good build for out of minecraft and i'm not gonna lie to you guys I'm a little bit concerned because you know getting the first footing down on your home really is the biggest deal because you know it shapes the way the series is what you're going to be going back to uh for the entirety and this is likely to be my proper home right here uh, even though it's meant to be like, you know, the, the main part, I love how that was perfect amount of slabs. Oh, beautiful. Uh, but this is like, we're going to be coming back to So, uh, does it look beautiful? Oh yeah. I, I love this. I love, we can do something with that. I'm in heaven, man. It looks great. I love it. I hope you guys like, this is the reason why I still play this goddamn idiotic game. You know what I mean? Like freaking who's out here playing minecraft in 2017 i am you know why because i enjoy the hell out of building creating something awesome and just making like i don't know having a fun time with smps and just having it's just so much fun man it's just so much fun i do not want to make any pressure plates i do not think i would forget myself if i did that but uh we have all the slabs that we need right now so this goes out i believe it's only one block yeah it's only one block out from there and it's layered right this way so the actual roof itself extends out to here and then it continues to go upward around from there so i was thinking to myself what i could do is instead of like making another slab up one we could just put a block down but i think the problem with that was it doesn't look good um on the interior because the interior does show uh you can see the vaulted ceilings that's what these will be so I think it's just better to do the entire roof as a slab itself. So instead of like building a, a full block right here, uh, we're going to continue to do uh, the slab all the way up on top here. So this is like the last giant expense that I have. And as long as I'm able to get this, which I think we've got plenty of wood to do, uh, I think we'll be good. The only thing I really wish is that we could swap out the wood for um, dark oak wood for the flooring. But I might honestly just put down uh spruce wood flooring as well oh, i don't want to skimp i don't know i might i think those trees are spruce and if they're dark oak wood i might chop down a tree i might chop i go pretty far in this and chop down one of those trees because i need dark oak wood for the floor i'm not gonna I'm not going to settle. So I'll catch you guys back in a few. Alrighty, so it looks like we are done with the roof as long as I did not mess it up. I think I got the overhang the exact same way that I did in the test world. And if that's the case, we're actually sitting really, really good. <laughs> we're sitting at a really good spot. Brought us log that, which is great. So I can actually uh, go to sleep if need be. Probably could have just asked him, but you know, I'm a very stingy person and I do not want to ask him to do something that might not be in his realm of content for that day so you know there's always that but uh yeah let's go ahead and i guess take a look at it so far uh we do need to get rid of this for sure and then actually uh before we look at it we need to uh remove yeah i need to make some stairways to get up here for sure because I, I can't enter my house from this way um the snowballs are definitely they've been a little bit obnoxious for sure with building and everything so is this going to be fine just layering it down with spruce wood planks as like the foundation sort of or does it need to be does this need to be actual wood is this gonna look okay i think this will look fine because like homes you know they're built on foundations so they're kind of you know like a lot of homes you can see like a a concrete slab underneath them they're not the same material all the way to the ground uh yeah that, that's good that's good this looks fine and then around the back side here uh not sure why this kind of got ruined but that's a little unfortunate 
Um, let's go ahead and shave up that. There we go. Yeah, I'll, we can put down some snow here. Uh, maybe get, get like a couple of snow blocks around the back here. Yeah, we can fix this up real nice, real fast. Is it four right now? Oh, it's five. Okay. So we'll do this right here and then one, two, three, four, and then we'll go and take the rest of the snowballs and there we go. Okay, so that's that's fixed up a little bit there. And then I don't know, maybe even that a little bit more. All right, cool. So this is already looking really nice. Uh very glad heard some sort of noise right there. Don't even want to know what it was. Might have been a witch or something. Uh let's go down and take a look at it from around here. We don't have any light, so mobs are guaranteed to spawn up on the roof right there, uh, as well as on the inside too. Dude, that looks so damn cool. That looks awesome. Give me a little bit of light, and that looks so cool. That looks sweet. You know what I'm going to do? Let's, uh, because I do have a lot of spare wood, and I don't have a lot of coal. I think you can turn, uh, charcoal into, I don't know if you can turn them into blocks or not. Actually, you know what? I don't know if you can. We need to go mining really quickly to get some uh, some coal blocks. I don't know if you could buy... Actually, I think you could buy coal at the spawn shop, I'm pretty sure. I think you can. I think you should be able to. Let me go and put some wood away really fast here. Let me go over to uh, slash spawn. I think I'm able to buy coal from the blacksmith over here. And if I'm not, going to be kind of upset. Uh, yes, you can. Cost 100. How much is that... I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say that she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no blacksmiths. Oh my lord. Okay, I, um, yeah, I ain't doing that in any, in any world. Uh, I'm gonna go mining and all, just, just for some coal, nothing insane. I'll see you guys in a minute. You know, I'll tell you one thing, this is actually a really cool area right here. You have like a little ocean in a, a full... It looks like an entire little oasis in this jungle here, and this is really nice. We got a little bit of, uh, you know, melons gonna help me get a little bit of saturation back here. And we got, we got a few extra melons from there. And then you have a, uh, like you have this cave underneath here, which is also pretty well sized. Like, this is a pretty big cave. That's a really cool jungle area, actually. I would not have been opposed to building there, given if it was a different season and I never did H2M where I had already built it a jungle, because my house would probably turn out the exact same in H2M as it did uh, here if I build in the jungle. Because I don't know, like, I could probably build something different in a jungle, but I feel like tree houses are best suited for jungles. And it's kind of like, I don't know, jungles are really messy and sloppy as they are, so I don't really know what else would work in a jungle. There's probably a lot of other things that would work. And I remember some people were saying, too, that would be really cool would be to build my house in a ravine and have, like, different areas and, uh, you know, like bridges and stuff branching out to different edges of the wall and stuff but i feel like that'd be a little bit too much like htm because i already built into a uh a cave in htm so I, I don't know i feel like this is a really good uh building exercise for me learning how to build in the snow and build with a little bit more of a uh, a cool atmosphere where's the skeleton shooting me from where the boy go where is this boy skeleton monsieur skeleton we got this is the lowest, I think it's the lowest a squid has ever naturally journeyed on his own. My man is down in a cave. What a triumphant boy. Holy hell. Oh, we got this guy over here. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go mining and I'll catch you guys back in a few. I think, you know what? I might make an executive decision here. And I feel kind of like hesitant on doing this, but. And a sight. I might make the flooring of the. I might make the flooring and a cipher right now, just for the time being, until I'm able to, we're going to need a lot, um, just until I'm able to get some dark oak wood, because I do not believe that those trees actually are, if they are, I'm an idiot, um, polished and we're going to turn in, yeah, it's going to be all polished and uh, just making sure, like, I, I want to make sure I've got enough here, because I don't want to go back to spawn for any purpose. Uh, I'd rather overbuy than underbuy right now. We have a lot of coal. Uh, brick can be turned into uh, actual uh, bricks. There we go. I was like, wait, what's the actual term for it? It's just bricks. Um, go ahead and take our pickaxes, combine those up right there. Perfect. 
Now you can probably throw away the spruce fence gates. I'm not really down to keep those for any reason. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and take the re remainder then, and we'll buy up. Uh, is that going to be enough right there? Is that going to fill our inventory? That did fail, fill our inventory, and zero were failed to purchase, which is great. Uh, the actual interior, let me go ahead and take a look on my world right now and just kind of get a glimpse. Is that going to be enough andesite? I feel like it will be. Yeah, I feel... Uh, you know what? We don't really need sticks. We don't really need this odd end of slabs. Uh, the wood we could definitely keep. Fences, sure, why not? The shovel, I think we'll go on and toss. Um, and yeah, I think... And then a the little bit of glass right here. So let's go ahead and get another four sacks thing. One, two, three, four. Uh, yeah, it's the only part that I've got right there. Click to confirm. Perfect. So go ahead and take the andesite. This might look bad. This could be the part that I regret. But just for right now, because I, I do want to have a finished floor... Um, this is going to be my little decision to, uh, you know, actually get the building, uh, move in ready for the most part. We can always swap out the floors another time, you know? All right. So I'm closing my other Minecraft down right now, ladies and gentlemen, I think we are, uh, at a really good spot to almost call it. And I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy. <coughs> so I'm also still sick. Um, anyways, like I was saying, one, two, three. I was not saying that. But we have a total of 30 coal, spare of the 10 that we need, because we need to put down four coal right here for inside of the furnace. Uh, furnace. Fireplace. That's the fireplace. And then uh, I still do not have a way to get up there. So that's going to be... I swear to God, I thought that was actually myself. I just got a little bit terrified, I'm going to be honest. Um, need a better way to get up to the roof to finish this, because I need to destroy it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, Andesite to build up probably right here that doesn't actually destroy any part of the snow hopefully that didn't i uh, hope that didn't destroy any part of the snow uh, might have that's okay though uh and then the block of coal one two three four five and six to go ahead and finish off the top of the chimney right there uh should that be a little bit higher actually i could layer this up one higher yeah you know what i'm gonna do one more i think i'm gonna do one more layer up these things take a while to break holy lord coal blocks it's like a mini version of uh obsidian <laughs> there for a second all right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hopefully, it's not too much. Uh, it should be perfect. Yeah, I'm going against the grain. I'm going against uh, what I said would be safe. And we're, we're taking a risk right now. And then um, I guess what we got to do right now is take the remainder of the coal, at least half of it, and uh, turn it into some torches. I'm kind of scared to put torches down. We already got skeletons inside of there. Kind of scared to put to any torches down. Uh, that was my first torch. Oh, wow. Um little scared to put torches down around the lower portion considering uh you know i don't want to melt the snow that's the only problem and do we want to do did i do it in the corner or did i do it how did i do it over there i did it purely in the corner okay and this is not purely in the corner which kind of bothers me then so this needs to be purely in the corner uh to kind of keep the uh pattern going right there and then we can do that one i think i might actually be even and then we'll do another one uh, right here in the corner. There we go. And then maybe one right here. So that's on the outside of that. There we go. Uh, not too bad. Okay. So that looks pretty all right. And then uh, let's go ahead and break down right here and put the fence back up. Thank you. So we got a little bit of light down there. And then right here, uh, this need, I mean, this, you know, it needs to be lit up. We kind of don't have a choice on that. So I guess uh, probably, hmm, it's not look weird. Actually, what if I did, like... That might actually look kind of cool. This might actually look kind of cool. Okay. Like, we're going to light it up. We don't want to do it in front of a door. That's the thing. And that's not in front of the door, so that's good. Um, maybe in front of the two doors like this, so we kind of have, like, a, uh, a little pattern looking like that. There we go. Because I don't want the... I don't want them just be sitting on the ground right there and then maybe hmm, could always do it like this then and then maybe right like that instead of in the corners that could work we could do it like that there we go and then uh these need to be lit up right here so we can do maybe on the inside this time so it's actually connected to the uh i i uh, kind of i like that yeah i like that and then uh one more on the outside right here to get the back lit up i don't know how it's gonna look from the uh I don't know how this is really going to look. No, it looks good. That looks good. The whole, everything about this looks nice. I like it. Hey, I'm beefing myself. I'm gassing myself up a little bit. You know what I mean? I am really proud of my work. Uh, I do wish that there was a way to get these skeletons out of here. So I think we're going to have to just, uh, 
uh, light up the floor in the not beautiful way, unfortunately. So we'll do uh, probably in the corner right there. There we go. And then maybe one. Uh, there's no middle here. That's unfortunate. So we could do maybe like that, I guess. Yeah, might have to. And then probably same around right there. And then we could do another one maybe right uh, here. And then another one right here. Another one right there. I mean, it's not going to be the most even thing. I might, you know, figure out something else. But this should light up the top floor pretty well. And then I guess on the bottom for right now, we'll just need to kind of spread over some torches. Uh, this is the most hated part of Minecraft in my opinion. I do not like doing this, but for right now, it'll get done. Uh, Kara wanted me to put a giant chandelier in the middle. You know, a nice centerpiece, which I think would be, look really nice. And then, um, actually, you know what? It, it looks a little weird. Let's just, uh, there. <laughs> Why not? That, that works, I guess. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Awesome. All right. Uh, I think we're done. I think that's it. The roof might be home to some, uh, visitors, which is unfortunate. I'll, I'll need to figure out a, uh, a roof situation, but let's go ahead and take a quick look down, uh, lower here. See how it looks from down below. I'm really excited. I'm so nervous though. Oh, what's it look like? Yeah, that looks so cool. I need to get rid of this. I need to snow that up right there. Um, or we can do something with it, but... That looks really nice. I'm very happy with that. And then uh, let's go and get our horse really fast here so I can kind of maneuver myself around a little bit. Uh, how does it look? I don't know, from this angle right here, like all the way up top. Um, yo, dude, that looks so good. Oh, the crafting table I need to get rid of right there. I'm happy with it. I am really, really happy with this. One of my favorite builds, I think, that I've ever done on a series. I don't know, something about this just screams... Uh, very unique to me and it's it's cool it's cool i like the fact that i can actually uh travel on my horse around here as well too um it's not done considering i do need to make a, a better way up top in all honesty what i could do i mean i'll move the horse in here for right now so we are going to move our stuff in but what i could do is just like take the two doors that i've got and just put them right here could do that Like, would that work? And then, actually, maybe keep the glass above it? Yeah, I could. I mean, hell, it... You know what? Sure, it works. We'll, we'll, <laughs> it works for right now, but... Yeah, I mean, that's the place. You guys can let me know what you think about, uh... What you think about it, what improvements you'd like to see, how you rate it compared to my other work that I've done. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say about it. I really am. That's... Odd, but... Kinda looks okay. Okay, but I did not expect it to look like that at all, but it works fine. Um, yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Take care, and we will uh, catch you all in the next episode. Hopefully, I can get back to streaming within the next couple of days. I <coughs> I did a full thing with my emotes and, like, Christmas Christmasified them up, so I have to stream. I need to take advantage of that uh, for sure, but, yeah, thanks for watching, and we will catch you all back tomorrow. See ya!